Hey, thank you for coming by for another No BS Social Media Chat. I'm sure you've heard the news because it's been all over, well, not just the internet, but it's been all over even the TV, that YouTube has changed the way they're allowing you to monetize your videos on YouTube. And we don't talk a lot about YouTube. The one thing I found is a lot of people just have frustration with YouTube. While they love to watch YouTube videos, they haven't figured out how to create YouTube content on their own. And we've talked about that numerous times, but I think building well, a strategy or including YouTube in your strategy for social media dominance is very important. Figure part of the reason I do these videos, it helps build the YouTube presence. Now, we ended up splitting it off on a separate channel. I didn't put it on my Kevin Mason Music channel. I put it on the separate No BS channel. So it's got some upside and it's got some downside. What's funny is, is right now I don't have these videos monetized. I figured just you come and buy enough to watch the videos, to spend five, six minutes with me each and every week, well, it is more than enough payment. To be honest with you, it's not about making money. And I think that's really the key of what, what I'm talking about today. A lot of the channels I work with have already seceded the monetization aspect for YouTube. And in all honesty, this is really about people making lots of money. This is about real big content creators. And at the end of the day, that's all that YouTube cares about. YouTube will let you post your little silly videos and kids dancing around and cat, cute cats and now goats and things like that. And that's fine. They're not making money off that. Where they're making money is off when Coca-Cola puts one of their TV commercials on there, or Geico, or one of the big companies puts their TV commercials on YouTube, and then they monetize on top of that. So basically you're paying, well, you're actually you know, getting to watch a commercial for free, but yet they're putting a commercial on top of it, so they get paid for you to watch commercials. Same thing, and especially with music videos, and that's where it really comes down to. A lot of people are repurposing artist music videos, putting it on their page, taking credit for it, or at least in theory, they think they're paying homage to an artist. And what's happening is, is by monetizing that video, they're making the money. And YouTube has tried to put the stop on that before, but now by making sure that people aren't doing this to spam you, making sure that they're watching how people are getting monetized, they're going to pay out less, but more importantly, what they're hoping is, is that it will discourage spammers from trying to take advantage of the uh, ways to make money off of YouTube. Now, at, at the end of the day, I don't care if you have a hundred million video views. I don't care if you have a thousand video views. Heck, I've got artists I'm working with right now that have a total, a grand total of like 500 video views amongst three or four videos. They haven't really built their strategy yet. Don't worry about that. If you are solely using YouTube as a way to make money, as a way to earn funds, tell you what, click onto another video. Don't even bother talking with us right now because we're not talking to you. At the end of the day, when I work with my artists, look, this isn't, well, well, when you get to be successful, you'll make money, but this isn't about making money. This is building a brand. This is building visibility. This is allowing people to connect with you. It's funny, the internet radio station I work with, when we're sitting down and looking at individual artists to look through, individual artists to see, we go to their YouTube pages to see if there's any interview content. We want to see how they conduct themselves in interviews. So don't for a minute think people aren't doing that. We're even doing it. We're practicing what we preach, basically. In addition to the music videos, we want to see what an artist is really about. And that's where YouTube has become a great tool for recording artists. Uh, I, I've got a buddy who, who owns a jewelry store in town, and his big thing is jewelry repair. So he'll do short YouTube videos of jewelry repair. Now, is it interesting? Well, only if you want to watch the jewelry making process. Only if you want to see just how skilled a craftsman he is. He doesn't worry about how many video views he has. He's not worried about having a million video views on one particular video. He's looking for clients who need video or who need jewelry repair in Nashville. So all he cares about is people from Nashville who are looking for jewelry repair to be able to see it and to be impressed with what he does. So it's like one video view could mean the difference between him, between him making money and not making money. And I want you to kind of take that approach too. You know what, making money, and I've actually made literally a hundred dollars off of YouTube over the years, off of my main video channel where I do my, my Kev TV and I do my Road Warrior videos, my personal video blog. I've made a hundred bucks over the course of the last eight, ten years, and that's about it. I don't have a lot of huge hits. I'm not a viral superstar. So don't worry about being one of those people. Worry about creating content strategies. Worry about creating content that people will want to watch, because once you do that, then the money's going to come in. And I know it's tough, putting the cart before the horse, but, but if you're only focused on money at the start, you're not going to succeed to begin with back next week with another free video for you. Not making money off these things. In fact, it's costing us money to do these and that's okay. I want to help you build your social media and would love to talk with you again. would love to have you as a client, but more importantly, if we can help grow social media, we all win. 
find us online, my phone number, my email address coming up. I don't care whether you watch the videos on Facebook, whether you watch them on YouTube, whether you go to nobssocial.com and watch any of the videos we got there. Just stop by, watch, and let's talk. See you next week with another No BS Social Media Chat. Thanks so much.